Well, a pilot program that plans to give thousands of dollars to low-income families right here in El Paso has been delayed. So the program was supposed to start sometime this summer, but now we're learning it's a bit up in the air. KFOX 14 News at 9's Harrison Parker live in central El Paso tonight to explain what this program does and why it's been put on hold. Harrison. That's right, a universal basic income program was due to start this summer and provide several low-income families here in El Paso $6,000 a year, but a state lawsuit has put that project on hold. Every time uh, we try to help people who really need it, and in a very meaningful manner, uh, we often are, are, are stymied, they try to shut things down. That's David Stout, one of the El Paso County Commissioners who voted yes on the Universal Basic Income Plan. It was approved by El Paso County in December 2023. It would select certain low-income families and give them $500 a month for a year. The program uses federal money from the American Rescue Plan Act passed during COVID. Stout says Texas AG Ken Paxson's lawsuit against Harris County over their UBI program has delayed the start of El Paso's plan. We are, are still kind of in a holding pattern uh, uh, making sure that we that we get our, our, our ducks in a row and so um, the timeline will probably be have to be pushed back. Stout says the delay could take months. Harris County had used a lottery system to choose families for its UBI project, which the state objected to. Stout says that El Paso County's partner in the program, Up Together, is looking for other ways to choose recipients. I don't know what to tell you, man. Um, it, it's, it, it's just hard because I don't know when uh, those issues are going to be uh, resolved. Um, I don't know when we're going to have the final, you know, the, the proposal and be able to, to pull the trigger on getting the money out. Well, speaking with several El Pasoans today, many did not know of this program and even fewer knew what UBI was. David Stout told me that when the program is ready to launch, there will be a publicity campaign letting the public know whether they're eligible and how to apply. I'm Harrison Parker reporting from Central El Paso, KFOX 14 News at 9.